So if you could paint a mural on any building or anywhere in Spokane, where would it be? There's a new condo that just went up on the west side of Spokane, downtown. And you can see it when you're coming down the 90, come, oh, when you're driving into yeah. town. I've always wanted to do something on that one. But what would it be? Couldn't tell you. <laughs> We're here with Jesse Pierpoint. Jesse, a uh, local artist, um, been in the advertising world, kind of done a little bit of everything. So thank you so much for yeah. coming on today. Thanks for having me. It's interesting. So the day this all happened, I was actually with you. We were filming something together and talking about, wow, what could this be like? There's no way that it could be this. And at that point, you know, our expectations had no idea that it, it could turn into this. But what's your thoughts on the last couple of months? It's been a wild ride. Uh, a lot of changes and adapting and, and, and just every day's new. So uh, I, <clears throat> the last time we were hanging out do, shooting that, that video that will not see the light of day for another year, uh, uh, it was fun, it was scary, and, and now here we are. So how have you pivoted? Because you, you had a lot of travel scheduled, events scheduled. What have you been able to do in your career and with some of your clients? It's definitely changed quite a bit, um, as it has for everyone. Um, but for me, uh, I did have quite a few um, events kind of scheduled, and I paint uh, live at different types of uh, charity events and, and corporate engagements. And a lot of that's gone away or been canceled or postponed. So, um, yeah, I just found a lot of... Um, different opportunities and, and really grateful for a lot of the work that I've gotten to do with uh, uh, on the graphic design and, and branding side of things. Um, company here in town, 7-2, where I used to uh, be a creative director, been spending a lot of time doing work with them as well as consulting for uh, quite a few other companies. In the creative space, we had, you know, Cami Bradley on right before this. It's, you have to change the creative space. You know, her creative space turned into an RV that she had in her, her driveway. Yeah. How have you been able to separate, you know, life at home with kids in the world and, and having your creative outlets? That's been tough. Um, I had a studio over in Coeur d'Alene. I, I ended up closing, so I didn't have that kind of space to get away to. And, and then adapting at home uh, has been interesting. Uh, fighting over Wi-Fi seems to be the new thing and um, kind of managing, like, kids and school and work and schedules um it's it's a balance for sure sometimes sometimes it goes smoothly and other times it doesn't what have you seen in the community because this has been an uh this opportunity for people to step up but there's been so many people in spokane that have stepped up what are some amazing things that you've seen uh quite a bit from the artistic side of things the art community there's, there's a ton going on, and it's actually really encouraging to see. Um, I don't know if you know Denny Carmen. We should get him on the show. Uh, Denny and, and, and some, of his, uh, some of his friends um, has coordinated uh, an event called Art on the Go. He basically um, coordinated local artists to have art shows in their front yards, and so he'll put out maps so you can drive around on a Saturday and visit all these artists showing artwork in their front yards. You can drive by, uh, check out d new artists, see new things, buy if you want. So yeah, it's really fun. I think there's up to 100 artists here oh, wow. in town showing work on Saturday. So pretty rad. How often do they do that? This will be the second one. There was one, I believe, about a month ago. So this That's is really cool. fun. Yeah. When I work on something, I like to sketch a lot. You know, you, you mm -hmm. want to practice it and, and figure out what you're working on and, and, and get the dimensions and composition and, and just commit it to memory. And I know when we painted that, uh, the moose in the studio that one time, it was just kind of winging it, which I don't always like to do, but uh, it's fun as well. Uh, it's just practice, 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 practice. What else have you seen in the community that's just been a, a cool innovation? Actually, yesterday uh, I took um, the girls, uh, we call it field trips, just to get out of the house, go, go grab some food and, and go to a park. Mm -hmm. And we're up at Cliff Park and 
hadn't been there in years and then uh, ran into this group that put up a pop-up tent and had a whole bunch of art supplies and and it's and they were inviting people to come in and just paint just to get away from things and take a break and have fun so uh, that was really cool I love seeing stuff like that um, it's just, it's just did rad. you go show off a little bit I didn't paint actually the girls <laughs> painted I, I took pictures very cool yeah being an, an artist and in marketing how do you take that how do you use that as inspiration how do you help someone craft their message going forward I think we have an opportunity to really talk to people in a different way um, and be more authentic with what we're doing and who it's for and why we're doing it. I, I think in the climate, everything that's going on, the things that we're, that we're going through, we're going through together. Mm -hmm. And um, any way we can communicate that in a way that brings people together is good for me. When we can come back on this stage and watch a show, when we can go to an event when we can have you know fundraisers for nonprofits. It, it's definitely going to give things new and better meaning which is a cool opportunity yeah it means a lot just walking around the neighborhood seeing and meeting your neighbors and talking to them it's it, it means a lot more yeah you certainly uh, i definitely don't take things for granted quite as much uh now so now with you moving forward in the art what's what's your mindset moving forward what's your next direction uh, I have some different projects I'm working on um, personally, some different um, work, and then I've been fortunate to have some some nice commission work that getting lined up and getting prepared for, and and um, putting the studio back together in the basement and enjoying that, and uh, yeah, just just having fun with it. So Jesse, thanks for coming on the show today. Really appreciate everything, and thank you. We'll see you all next week. Check out Community Positive, a TV show dedicated to promoting positivity. Each week we highlight business owners and community leaders doing incredible things in the Spokane community. Saturday and Sunday at 6 on Fox 28.